Hello Lulas, welcome back to my channel guys. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. Notification squad. Notification squad. And if you guys want to be a member of the chatterbox, the link is in the description bar. If you don't see a join now, next to your subscribe button usually if you're on a desktop you will see that sometime on apple products you do not anyway today i am here with my aspen number three um and i am this is my personal baby i am still toggling and deciding if i want to give him a name that i used before i was going to go with the name Kingston because I had that name before but and because he is you know one that is going to be staying with me it would fit in my whole little places you know around the world um name theme but I'm not sure just yet if you guys have any recommendations of names please drop them in the comment section um so now he is basically just waiting for his turn to get hair which will probably be a while because I have Zora, Lauren, Memphis um and quite a few others that need to be rooted as well. So I don't know when he will go out. <laughs> it might be next year um, messing with me. But um, if you guys have not been following me on Instagram, which my Instagram is Miss Serenity underscore Smith, um, and following my stories, you probably don't know that Memphis has been adopted out. Um, so, but he will be around for a little bit because he too will be going for hair. And so therefore he is um, going to be here for a little bit. So, anyway, um, this, this little one, I decided to put him on one of my custom bodies with the signature on it because I have one, happen to have one that's a dark chocolate, as you can see it's kind of poking out here and it's a little on the what made him a little bit more longer so he'll probably fit in his clothes a little bit better let's see I pushed his stomach out in the cloth body just on purpose so his belly will kind of push out as well let's see so yeah so and and the camera with the lights and stuff sometimes makes him look his color look a little bit different, but he is a definitely deep, deep chocolate. He is the darkest baby I have in my collection that I've painted. Um, he is probably the darkest next to um, Zuri. I probably should have put them together so you guys can see. I think their colors are totally different though, actually. Um, so this is... the palms in his hand I did go and finish his nails um his little boo-boo end up not looking so so bad but it is right here it was a little bubble there and I colored it so it just kind of looked like a bump I don't know if I can if I can zoom into that let's see um let's see I don't think it's going to show. But if you see, it's a little like right there. So it's not a big to do. Um, I think, I, I, you know, it is what it is. Um, and yeah, surely I could still sell him. But I don't want to. Um, I, because I sold the prototype. And um, I think possibly um I can't even you know this poor baby she's she's been going back and forth with people so much um the real um I 
think she might be sold, but we will see because it's not definite until I get payment. But like I said, if when I get to a point of where I'm like, okay, that's enough, then, you know, she'll just be here with me. Not that I don't want to keep her. It's just that I really need to sell off as many babies as I can. Um, just simply, like I said, because... I've bought babies from other artists and um, unfortunately most of the artists that I collect from um, regularly actually charge like a significant amount of money for their babies and um, so I can't afford to keep all my babies and buy their babies. It's just, it's just a lot but um, yeah. But I, I am really, really in love with him. And I'm, I'm so shocked, actually, because I wasn't expecting it. Um, like I said, the, this me and this kid has had a love-hate relationship. Um, I actually stopped working on him a few times. I actually, like, basically, like, just thrown apart his little parts to the side and just been like, okay, I'm not touching it anymore. Um, then I told you guys this last time when I started back painting on him, I was like, oh, I'm just going to make a cuddle head. And then I was like, ah, I hate to waste my money because, you know, the kits are like $130 or something like that. I'm like, I hate to just keep wasting kits. So I was like, I'm just going to just keep going and just paint him and see what happened. And so um, I just kept going and I, I, I am so happy that I did just keep going um because i absolutely love him like I'm, I'm not joking like i really really love him i love inside his mouth like his gums and stuff came out really nice his tongue color is really nice like it's it's really came out really really nice so um and i know you guys probably can't see inside his mouth let me see i can try yeah, so you probably, you can't really see, but you can at least see inside his mouth. It's like wet and stuff. Um, the thing is sometimes with like when you do like a lot of undertoning and shading and stuff with these babies, I, I, I always say this to you guys because it's true. It's just kind of hard to really capture their color, but I think it's doing okay. But yeah. So I am really excited. I can't wait to like get him some clothes and stuff. And that's the bottom of his feet, by the way, guys. I I um I know I have his feet covered up, but I absolutely love the legs on um the aspen scope. It's like my favorite part of the kitten along with his little mouth and stuff. He has the cutest little mouth and stuff. So I, I overall, I am, like I said, really, really happy with him. I wanted to ask you guys, have you ever had like a kit that you didn't necessarily like for the longest time and then you seen, you start seeing certain versions of the kit by different artists and you're like, oh my God, I, I love it. And, um, and it made you like literally want to to get to get, own the kit and you like like I'm talking about I'm not talking about one that you're like eh, I don't know I don't know I'm talking about one like you're like oh my god I hate that kit type thing and then all of a sudden it's like oh my gosh I love it it's so cute I want that kit um if you've had that experience within your time of collecting um let me know what kit it was that uh that had that you change your mind on. I actually um have been liking the grumpy, the real born grumpy face and stuff. I don't want it in my collection, but I actually been like liking um enjoying seeing them in other people's collection. But I, I definitely know that it's not one that I would want in my collection. Um but I I, th I think that it's starting to get so cute for me. Um, another one that I really, really liked was the Manuela. 
Um, but I had heard like mixed reviews. Like a lot of people were saying that the head size were too small for the limbs. But when I see it in certain people uh, pictures and stuff, um, it doesn't look to be like it's out of proportion. But I've even seen box openings where people are like, oh my God, the head is so small. So I kind of just stayed away from actually buying that kit. And now it's like out of stock at Mike Ferrison. So um, I don't know. I it, I've had I got a couple of them that I'm actually I've been looking at. And I'm like, man, I I wish I would have gotten that one to paint. And sometimes it's kits that I just want to challenge myself on painting. I don't necessarily want to keep them. I just want to have the experience of painting them. So um, that's that. I know I definitely wanted to experience painting um, the Aspens in different skin tones. So, so far I did three different skin tones. I will not paint the Aspen kit again. Um, I don't have another blank kit in here and I don't plan to buy another one or paint another one um, at all. So, um, the prototype that sold and the, uh, the second one if it gets sold and then the one that I have will be it for me. But like I said, I may possibly end up with two. It just depends because I don't know. Like I said, I don't know. Like I said, it's just crazy. This is the first time though that I've had this happen with a particular, uh, with a baby where it's just been so many people going back and forth on, um, you know, buying and stuff. So, um, this is new for me, but nevertheless, um, I I have not been aggressive with trying to sell. Um, I haven't been being aggressive trying to sell um, my babies as much because I've just been so busy trying to get other babies completed so I can get them out and um, you know just still got a lot of stuff going on, a lot of stuff going on in the background, but. I will slowly start sharing babies as they are completed and stuff. I was going to put him on his little pants that went with this little outfit. But I don't want to cover his legs up. <laughs> so he's going to just keep that on. Um, definitely definitely um, see why people really love the like deep chocolate tones. It's just something about them. I don't know. <laughs> They're just so, so cute. Um, what else? I think that's it, guys. So, I just wanted to pop in, give you guys an update, let you guys know he is put together, he is weighted, and I, I don't know, let me know. I haven't, like, put him together, like, next to, uh, Rio, and I'm still calling her Rio, but, um, I haven't put them together in a photo, and... I haven't put Zuri next to this one either. So, like, as far as co comparing colors, like, you know, not comparing colors, but you know what I mean? Just seeing the difference in the color. But I'm almost certain Zuri have a total different type of skin tone. Um, And he's definitely way darker than Memphis. So it's pretty cool. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited, guys, but... Ugh, I just have so many plans and it's like sometimes I overthink things. So I'm just hoping everything works out. Hoping that all the babies that I intend to sell get sold. The ones that I tend to keep get kept. And the ones that I am hoping I will be able to create, I get be able to do that. Um, like I said, this February is going to be a very, it's going to be a real trial period for me. So, um, you know, working from home and, uh, I will be having, uh, my grandbaby here some days out of the week uh, while his mommy works until he get a little bit older and then, and then also, you know, working with Gabby in school and, Oh, it's just going to be a lot. I am just like, I don't want to freak out. But yeah, so with all that being said, 
I have like been filling up shopping carts with clothing items for um, the babies and stuff, but I just haven't haven't been able to like push the 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 purchase button, and I I don't think I want I don't think I want to because I'm not supposed to. I'm trying to hold out, guys. Oh my gosh, like this is so hard. We're only in January, and I'm already like on the brinks of trying to spend money. So I've been trying to hold out. Um, <sighs> I think that's it, guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.